Well, hello everyone and <clears throat> welcome to the grow room. Things are growing pretty good here today. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, problems that you might have with your uh, plants. And in particular, I'd like to talk about a, uh, <clears throat> a problem that has developed for me that uh, is known as a magnesium deficiency and uh, a magnesium deficiency will come about <clears throat> particularly if you uh, are using uh, soilless mix although in my case I'm using pro mix so it is soil uh, it doesn't look like it but uh, underneath the uh, clay here is uh, soil these clay, clay pellets I just put these on top here just to kind of keep the uh, keep the bugs uh, out of there which so far so far we're doing good I don't have any uh, bugs laying uh, any eggs or I don't see any sign of them on these little uh, stickums here but one of the problems that I'm having <clears throat> if you can see this right here is uh, a magnesium deficiency and you can see this uh, leaf in particular has got uh, blotchy spots on it and the uh, the blotchy spots oh, let me turn my fan off here by the way it's just while I'm talking <clears throat> make it a little bit quieter here there we go we can hear another fan uh, running in the background a very very light fan but that fan is on the uh, on the uh, optic uh, 4 uh, grow light. There's four four little fans uh, on it. You can see up on top here. But uh, back to what I was talking about, uh, the the problem uh, that that is quite visible here is the uh, magnesium deficiency. And generally speaking, people uh, will do things wrong with their plants. I.e., they might uh, put uh, too much in the way of uh, fertilizer chemicals things like that and uh, overdo it in which case you'll get uh, a little bit of burn on your plants and uh, burn would be uh, something that you might see on the starting on the tips of the uh, leaves have them turn a little bit yellow that sort of thing but in this case here <coughs> what you see is uh, is a, a blotchiness kind of a brown blotchiness that appears on the leaves and here you can see it right here on this leaf and uh, it's not because of too much uh, magnesium or too much of some kind of a chemical but it's because of not enough and uh, you will hear that uh, people <coughs> um, will come in with something like this here Procal or Cal Mag, uh, basically this uh, product here by uh, Green Plan. Um, I don't know if we can see this on the label here. Probably not, but uh, no, it's going to be pretty hard to zoom in here with this camera. But uh, the Procal um, has a, a magnesium in it and calcium. So it's a combination of both. So what do you need uh, CalMag for? Well basically if you're using uh, pretty much straight water or uh, ionized water, water that's uh, uh, you're buying it by the bottle or the water uh, that comes out of your tap if it's so pure and doesn't have anything in it then you're going to want to add uh, a little bit of CalMag to your uh, water when you're watering the plants. Now I had thought because I'm running the uh, pro mix and running actual soil in here uh, that I would probably have had enough uh, calcium and magnesium in the soil and then I'm just running uh, regular regular tap water here and here you can see uh, I've just got a, an old Mott's Clamato uh, jug here and I'm just you know filling that up with water with tap water letting it sit for uh, a couple of days just to get the uh, <clears throat> the uh, oh the the chloride and the uh, fluoride and whatever 
to uh, dissipate out of the water and uh, the water that I use here is probably about 5.9 very very close to 6 as far as pH and uh, it seems to uh, do the trick but obviously there's not enough magnesium in the water or the soil that I'm using here so today is actually the first day where I have uh, taken the opportunity to uh, try and solve this magnesium uh, deficiency problem um, and I will probably end up uh, cutting these leaves off I'm just leaving them on here for now there's there's no real problem that they're a little bit deficient uh, the leaves are still good and usable for the plant but when they start yellowing uh, a little bit more then I'll just pluck them right off of there now hopefully new growth on the plant after I have uh, today I've added uh, magnesium to the water and then given them a good watering and I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll show you what I'm actually using here I'm uh, using this product which is uh, Garden Pro Epsom salts and uh, as you can see it contains magnesium sulfate and you just add this to your water and it's pretty much just magnesium that you're adding to the water as opposed to to uh, the Procal here which is actually adding uh, calcium and magnesium <clears throat> you know who who knew this stuff of uh, just growing a weed is uh, getting to be uh, you know you almost have to be a little bit of a home scientist to uh, figure out what the hell you're doing and uh, needless to say I'm also uh, <laughs> running uh, running a little bit of this here as well uh, the uh, jungle green 1715-17 uh, because we're in the veg state and uh, this stuff here I'm uh, adding to uh, a jug of water now I've got my setup here like this where I've got uh, this little jug in here is uh, what I'm running the uh, the uh, green growth in so I've got this and then I've got this jug over here which is a five gallon container and uh, I've got uh, just my plain watering so I can pretty much do my flushing and whatnot so I've added the uh, Epsom, uh, Epsom Epsom salts into uh, this jug here and uh, as you can see I've got a pump in the bottom there that I just set that up and uh, what I do I've got a, a cord coming out of here from the pump and uh, I've got the hose coming out of here now, I've just got this temporarily sitting in here but there's the hose coming out so when I want to water my system here it's pretty slick all I do is I uh, go over here and I turn the switch on my power bar which uh, that pump is connected to and uh, we just go in here and we just give it a little bit of a watering and I've actually uh, figured out <clears throat> by filling up one of one of these bottles with water how many seconds uh, it takes and it takes about oh about 15 seconds worth of water coming out of this hose to fill up one of these bottles so what I do is I once a day I give it about a 10 second watering if I want to give it a good watering okay with this so turn on the pump go uh, 10 seconds worth of watering boom done uh, no having to uh, fill up another can or uh, do anything used to use that little can over there to water but now I've got it into an automatic system now I will be moving one step further and going to an automatic drip system uh, pretty quick now one thing that I can tell you and that is uh, I've got this little uh, device in one of them which is uh, Rapitis or no rap rapple rapple whatever anyways it's a little device a moisture tester that I have stuck in the in one of the plants here and as you can see it's registering um, just over that one scale there and I just watered these today and that's about as wet as uh, as it ever does get here which is okay so I can take a look at that uh, gauge and I can see whether or not I need any watering in the plants so I've done a pretty good job there of uh, of uh, 
you know a backup gauge or whatever you can touch the uh, the dirt on the top and see whether or not it's moist you know that sort of thing but this little gauge here is stuck in right to the very bottom of the uh, pot and you can see uh, what the size of the pots there are they're probably about uh, oh, I don't know one and a half two gallon pots that I'm using <clears throat> but the uh, the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about here today was the magnesium uh, deficiency and like I said we have uh, utilized the uh, Garden Pro uh, Epsom salts with magnesium sulfate in them uh, it's a, <clears throat> a kind of a white uh, substance here I'll uh, <clears throat> open it up here and let you take a look inside here hang on Okay, it's almost like salt in there it's like a crystal and you add that to the water and it dissolves right in the water after let's see after adding that crystal in there and then looking at it about uh, oh let's say one or two minutes later then I couldn't see any more crystals in the water and uh, I'm not sure what that stuff tastes like well I'm not going to taste it <clears throat> put it that way uh, all I know is that it should should do the job it should work and uh, it uh, a little uh, a little container like this should last you an awful long time this is about 1.6 kilogram but apparently this is a better way of doing it than by using the the uh, CalMag but we'll see we'll see what happens here um, you know I could use the CalMag as well CalMag is a liquid but this stuff uh, really dissolves very very quickly so it seems to be doing the job and uh, let's see what else can I tell you here just while, while we have you going um, we have uh, this little device here which is our uh, blue lab combo meter uh, this is a really nice job you, d you definitely need this you can uh, check your pH and you can check your uh, dissolvables your nutrients and you can check your temperature in here as well what are we running here about 24 degrees yeah I don't know between that and this I'm not sure which is accurate this is reading about 19 degrees right there and our relative humidity is about 30 percent so my room is a little bit on the cool side although it is it is a little bit hotter uh, right down here I will say with the uh, bright light in here but uh, but anyways uh, that's the uh, magnesium uh, deficiency that's what it looks like let's see I've got a few other leaves in here as well although it might be a little bit difficult to uh, to show you here it's not really really evident on this particular plant there's another plant back there that uh, is showing it a little bit more the rest of it is not looking too bad here at all it's looking very very nice looking a little bit yellow here we're seeing a little bit of yellowness on some of these leaves here so yeah I think that magnesium will uh, tend to turn the leaves a little bit darker green as well so we'll see what happens oh yeah okay here's a really good one here this one here is showing the magnesium deficiency as well it's uh, got the brown blotchy uh, markings on it there as well so uh, yeah I noticed it first of all with one plant and then all of a sudden it started to just here and there show up on the other plants as well uh, I was a little bit worried thinking that maybe it was just uh, you know a problem with one plant but because I am doing identical watering and uh, also uh, you know the um, stuff that I'm using here to uh, feed the plants uh, it's all identical this one here you can see I femmed I femmed the top of this uh, plant here and uh, you can see it's looking very very strange here this little baby here it's all cut off these leaves are cut off but look at it's you know if I would have just chopped this off right here uh, then uh, then I would have uh, gotten you know a couple of other stems growing in there but I've kind of got action happening here action happening there and action happening up on top so in about three places we're getting action happening so I don't know not too sure on the femming yet uh, it's really tough to do a great job of femming 
Uh, it's easier just to uh, top the plant and if you uh, top the plant well then you pretty much get something that looks like this right here where you've got uh, two tops in here there's top one top two you can see it coming out of there so this is a real good example of a nice topping job here on this plant and I have been just going to town I've been topping these bloody things all over here you can see topping uh, that happened a long time ago down here and then you can see uh, topping that I did just lately right in here and who knows I might end up uh, topping it again here look at there's another topping that I did there so actually it's kind of three three toppings in there and then I've been topping before these things are like little bushes in here so we'll see what happens once uh, they start uh, flowering whether or not uh, I'm going to have too much drooping or stuff like that, but this is a virtual little uh, forest. Let's see how she looks down below here. Give you a bit of a look in here. These stalks are really, really big in here. That's got to be about a half inch stalk in there. Same thing uh, with this one here. It's about a half inch stalk. I haven't really bothered to get rid of too much of the lower branches in here because I want to be doing a bit of clone work off of those lower uh, branches so I'm just kind of leaving everything just to grow and uh, you know some people say oh yeah well you gotta cut everything off and uh, you know trim leaves and do all kind of stuff or else you're gonna uh, not have big plants up on top but you know just look at just look at how these stems are growing uh, up on top on the top of the plant here just phenomenal this is like an eighth of an inch uh, stem right here, and this is right near the top of the plant. So uh, these things are growing like wildfire, like weed, <laughs> you might say. Okay, but anyways, that's it. That's your tip of the day, the magnesium deficiency, what it looks like in the plants, and uh, what to do about it. So take care, and uh, we'll see you again. Keep on growing. Whoop, whoop.